People who saw our lucky, we've got a singer in their house. In this video, I'll teach you how to DIY a long jean maxi dress for less than five dollars. I love buying my clothes at thrift stores because they are sustainable. You, we are re reusing the same item. They're cheap since they're used. And at the same time, you can create unique pieces that nobody else has. This dress just makes me feel a hundred times sexier and more of myself, which is what I love about it the most. Hello guys and welcome to We Dubai. As you guys know with me, every time you see me, there's going to be something new. And this time, I wanted to present to you one of my favorite new hobbies, which is the sewing machine. Today, I'm going to do a little thrift look with you guys. We went to... Lily. <laughs> that was my cat walking by there. We went to a Goodwill today in Jacksonville, Florida on this beautiful day and we found a couple items all the items that i've gotten were between the skirt was two dollars and fifty cents and then all the dresses were four dollars and sixty cents i got the green tag 40 percent off and i find it cheaper to go to goodwill than to buy materials and i'm gonna show you each piece of clothing and i'm going to show walk you through how i'm flipping it and come on this journey with me let's start with the first piece which is something I'm really really excited about it's this jean long dress um let me try it on so now I need pins so go get them I'm only going to pin one side because the distances should be the same from both sides so those are the sides so in my hip length, I must say, I can only take up this much. So I'm gonna mark it here. I wanna make sure we don't take away too much. Very good, we have the hips. Then the next measurement are the waist. Mark that up. And the last one. I'm eating it. <laughs> I'm eating this YouTube video. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do on this side and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to start right here. And I'm gonna go for it. Always make sure to put the thrift threads to the left side and just have fun with it. Whenever you go backwards, make sure that your needle is all the way in and then press the button. And you do that to make sure that it goes backwards the same way it goes forward. You only have to do that three or four times. Now that we've established that, we're gonna go ahead and connect the three pins that we've pinned down using an arch. Whenever you're threading, make sure to go slowly and keep bulk of the fabric out of your way and don't press your pedal too hard and give yourself the time to pick the right arch to connect the dots. Once we're done sewing we have to cut out the rest of the material in order to make sure that the dress fits perfectly. I used zigzag stitch. Whenever you're done sewing always make sure to cut off excess of thread in order to avoid just the ugly look. We love the nice and finished look. It's just gorgeous. So. We're going with the pizza cutter. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And then I'm going to cut out this material. All you have to do is find the seams where the two materials were originally sewn together and then put them on top of each other. Then as you see the lengths marked for your hips, your waist, and your bust, copy those onto the other side to make sure that both sides are symmetric. And then once you do that, it's time to sew. Wow, didn't even work. 
We should just do a whole fail thing because clearly the real thing isn't working yet. Thread. This thread is against me. Threading any hopes and dreams that I might have with flipping this dress. <laughs> oh. Alright, we got it. Oh yeah. Alright, so... Obviously, whenever you saw, you always have to do it on the left side. Unless if you like the stylistic look of doing it on the right side. So always make sure to flip your dress. <laughs> I don't like this whole thing going on here. And I think the best way to get rid of it really would be to maybe get rid of it like this. This would work. And so that's what I have going for here. And I think this side should be quite similar. All right, so this needs to be fixed. There's just too much space here. And here I need like to take an inch off of each side. Am I threatening it? <laughs> I am definitely threatening this sewing machine. Oh yes. <laughs> the sewing machine is threatened. It's not threatened. Okay, so now I've pinned a little pocket, so now I'm going to literally just make a cut right here. Get rid of that one inch. It doesn't really fit me so well towards my bust, so I decided to take off a couple more inches, and once I marked it, now it's time to sew it together. And then once I'm done, again, I'm going to cut off the thread, cut out the excess of material, and then try it on one more time and see if there's any more alterations that I need to do. This looks amazing! I mean seriously guys, and I love how the sides turn out to have these beautiful side things and I also love how it makes my sweat look really good and tomorrow when it's nicer outside I'm totally gonna present it. Now I can wear it for a cute dress to dinner or just to go outside. I also love how it's long and how there is more material down here. The details, the details, the details my friends. I love how well the sides have turned out and just how well the dress hugs me and fits me. It's not too tight. Again, it's just the perfect fit. As I was making this, I have ruined this table <laughs> because my first initial cutter is just not sharp enough. So then I got these scissors from a dollar store, but it turns out that the dollar store that is nearby us is not an actual dollar store. It's more of like a multi-dollar store. I paid $10 for three things. They're lying, they're cheating. <laughs> Don't wonder why everybody's striking. Anyhow, and then, yeah, I didn't have any pins, so the first couple of things I had to do without pins, which is a horrible, horrible idea. Always have your pins with you, always have your chalk, and things will be easier. I just love DIYing without any form or any rules, just pure chaos. It was way too big, so I had to do the hips. And then we had the breasts, right? There was like weird breast pockets. So we took care of both of these issues. And when I saw how it looked like after alterations, it was just wonderful. It gives you that cool, like sexy teacher vibe. <laughs> and I just love wearing it. I'm totally going to wear this to the beach and to go painting. I love long maxi dresses. And the fact that this one is made custom to me because I made it myself, it's amazing. Yeah, and all you really need is just a bunch of pins, sewing machine, and you can do it yourself.
Yeah, those were my first DIY projects. Let me know what you guys think about them. I think making clothes fit yourself is always a great idea because it just looks a hundred times better. Even clothing that's high brands, if it doesn't fit you, it just doesn't look as good as you. So if you can just let me know if like, this was clear, what the process looks like through this video and what you've learned. Altering clothes is super exciting and will make your, you look even sexier and more fabulous than you already are. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I appreciate you guys being here with my struggles. I love you. Mwah.